What's old is new again. Time really is just a big circle when you think about it. And that's evident with the resurgence of physical music. I know people mess with CDs and cassettes, but I'm mostly focusing on vinyl records for this video. I don't know many people in real life, but out of the ones I do, like two thirds of them have a record collection. And some of them don't even like music. Even with streaming, being the Goliath that it is, vinyl records are somehow the little engine that could. Like, think about it. They're old as f aren't exactly cheap, and there's so many more convenient alternatives to listen to music. So why do we still collect vinyl records? Time to do some science. It's kind of crazy that something that was invented in the 40s is starting to see a small but mighty comeback now. Since like 2007, each subsequent year, vinyl record sales have increased. And as someone who likes music, I think that's really cool. But like, why? Why do me and millions of other people, when there's access to streaming services for a relatively cost-efficient monthly subscription fee, why do we still buy physical music? That is the question we're gonna to answer today. Like I established in my last video, I am a scientist, and when we have a question, what do scientists do? They find answers. Uh, yes, I know I'm wearing different clothes. Boo-hoo, your immersion is ruined. Maybe shut up. So, a little background and why I care. Man, I can't stop changing clothes in this video. Shocker, I know, but I consider myself a music enjoyer and a vinyl record enthusiast. I've been collecting records since about 2018, you know, when I get really gotten to listening to music like super heavy. And my collection is decently sized, about like 200 records almost. Not the biggest in the world, you know? There's people whose collections cost about as much as a college tuition. Mine does not. My collection is mostly made up of albums that I really enjoyed and I wanted to pick up for myself, gifts from friends and family, and the occasional random vinyl record that I thought the cover was cool and I needed to buy because the money I don't have was really burning a hole in my pocket. I have crazy colored vinyl presses, I have vinyl presses where the disc is etched with a little secret message, and some rather rare pickups. And even when I started collecting, I kind of did it because like, oh, I like music, I guess I have to start a vinyl record collection now. Also, my studio is very messy. Don't be alarmed, this is how it normally is. But I wanted to go a little deeper than that because it's not just me. I don't know if you saw this, but according to the website Luminate, 50% of people who collect vinyl records don't own a vinyl record player. That's crazy to me. But at the same time, it kind of doesn't shock me. I know literally nobody asked, but my personal weapon of choice is the Audio-Technica LP120. This thing is a fucking unit. It plays incredibly well, looks awesome, and it's nice and beefy too. And if I'm so inclined to record the good vibrations I'm hearing, it comes with a USB adapter, so I could record from the record player straight to my computer. <sighs> it's a little dusty, but you get what you pay for with this fucking thing. Side tangent aside, but regarding the people who collect vinyl records without record players, I can't get into their head personally and diagnose any foodborne illnesses they might have had recently. But I have a theory as to why that is, and it's not too far off one of the reasons that I collect as well. It actually goes in hand beautifully with my last video. I'm a sucker for great art. How do I keep doing that? Collecting vinyl records almost doubles as an art collection when you think about it. Because some album covers deserve to be hung up on museum walls like the fine art they are. Some. Some, I emphasize. Some. Artists put time, money, and effort into making sure the album cover, and by extension the vinyl record, on occasion, is a part of the album as much as the sound it makes. But what really makes me love collecting records is when the artist just cares that much more. 
And they essentially reward you for picking up the physical with a bunch of cool little Easter eggs and bonus stuff, which I will now show and tell. Editor Clock Wipe. <laughs> Malibu Ken by Malibu Ken or Aesop Rock and Tobacco. A little electronic abstract hip hop project from two titans of the industry. This is a great example of a record that rewards you for picking up the physical version with all its cool little Easter eggs. This specific gatefold is a die cut, which means the front cover is cut. Yes, good job. And that means you can do cool shit like this. That is really cool. Not to mention the lyric sheet, the digital download code, and the beautiful baby blue vinyl record itself. But there is one super cool, unique piece that made me have to put this in the video. A fucking paper mask. It's like opening the record is a story. You rip his face off, and then you get to wear it. This is actually one of two paper masks that I own that came from my vinyl record collection. The first one is the infamous trout mask replica. If you know, you know. But how fucking cool is that? The Malibu Ken artwork is so gross in like the best way. It really matches the decay and degeneracy that's talked about on the album. Where's My Utopia by Yard Act. I don't even know what the fuck genre this record could be categorized under, like post-punk, hip hop, spoken word therapy session this record is a grab bag but this 2024 release is a very special vinyl record pickup why you might ask well if you look at the album cover on streaming services there are a bunch of little creatures and critters running around in the album cover but the vinyl record i'm presenting you now is bare what gives as a matter of fact one of the inserts inside of the jacket besides the beautiful vibrant orange pressing is a clear sticker sheet you guessed it right with the sticker sheet you designed the album cover. Oh, my caveman brain loves this. You can make it as true to the original as you want, or as fucked up as your twisted mind can comprehend. Another band that I really loved that did this was Jockstrap on their debut album, I Love You, Jennifer B., which admittedly I kind of just played it very safe with. <laughs> Both great post-punk albums with hints of fun electronic noise sprinkled throughout, and not to mention, great record packaging to boot. And of course, pure comedy. By Father John Misty. This record's packaging was so good, it won a Grammy. Not the album itself. The vinyl record packaging won a Grammy. What can I say that hasn't been said already about Father John Misty's, in my opinion, singer-songwriter magnum opus, Pure Comedy? But the album cover is so intelligently packaged, I just want to go up to the team that made this and shake each and every one of their hands individually and tell them that they did a fucking stellar job. You get the incredible album cover designed by Edward Steed with the iconic brooding midnight sky. But wait, what's this? The sky is moving. The record sleeves are the sky. So when you swap around the vinyls, whichever one's in the forefront, that's the background of the painting. It Grammy well-deserved. This is probably my favorite example of a record in my collection that's truly an experience in its own. Before you even drop the needle on this, Beautifully metallic copper and silver vinyl pressing. Great googly moogly. Everything about this record packaging is beautiful. That's nice and all, but we came here to answer a question. I feel comfortable speaking for a majority of record collectors out there. Collecting records is that extra step you take when you really want to connect with a piece of music. Picking up vinyl supports the artist directly, especially if they're on a smaller label or even independent. And I know artist streaming payouts are a hot button issue at the moment, so this is a great way to show support. And there's just something about it, the analog nature of holding a piece of work that you love. I think it brings me closer to the music. Admiring the huge blown up front cover, checking out the backside and any bonus artworks, to physically holding music in your hands and dropping the needle on that song you just gotta hear. It's not just something cool to collect. It really adds that extra level of music enjoyment. With streaming services being the overlords that they are, people are looking for that way to enjoy music within a very disposable business model. I could listen to any album I want, so you miss out on all these analog steps and feeling like you own this piece of music. A lot cooler than some pixels. I'm not saying you can only listen to vinyl records, but there's nothing better than physically holding a 9 out of 10 or a 10 out of 10 album after listening to it countless times through your phone. If you enjoy music and want to go that extra step, you don't need a 50,000 record collection. Grab that album, your favorite album, on vinyl, and tell me it's not exciting. Because I'm pretty deep into this, and to this day, I can't help but get excited when I'm holding an album and I give it a first listen on wax.